Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rodrigo Marina, and I am pleased to welcome you today back to Laredo, Texas, back to the Texas A&M International University Soccer Complex, and back to the home of your Laredo Heat. Your Laredo Heat will face off today in a Lone Star Conference matchup against the visiting Katie, 1895 FC. They are coming into town rolling with 15 goals scored in their last two games. Red Heat rolling into the season already. We'll see how the Heat adjust in this for sure challenge that the Heat have to face in this second to last game of the regular NPSL season. The Heat stand at eight victories, no ties, no draws. They are undefeated on the season thus far. We'll hope to see them keep that momentum going as we uh, hopefully roll into the postseason with good momentum. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the starting lineup of your Laredo Heat Soccer Club. Starting at goalkeeper, number 31, Carlos Herrera. Playing defense, number three, Belgium's finest, Eunice Boudnadi. Also on defense, number 24, Andres Ogas. Playing defense, number 20, Christian Roman. Playing defense, number six, the fighter, Yudai Tashiro. Number 28, playing in the midfield, Marcelo El Pirata Arata Machado. Number 18 in the midfield, David Martinez. Number 13 in the midfield, Tor Trosten. Forward, number 14, Ziyad El Zoro Ferris. Number 9, forward, the Iron Giant, Rafael Montaves. And, uh, also on the forward line, number 19, the wizard, Petre Piazala. Your Laredo Heat are coached by Dana Taylor. He is assisted by Coach Vicente Ruiz, Coach John Powell, and Coach Keith Ramirez. Those are the starting lineup for your Laredo Heat uh, soccer club. Ladies and gentlemen, we're moments away from, uh, well, kickoff. But first, we will honor the many men and women serving the country around the world with the playing of the national anthem. We'll be back.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Texas A&M International University Soccer Complex, the home of your Laredo Heat Soccer Club. We're moments away from initializing this game from the initial kickoff. We'll take a look at who the Laredo Heat have lined up on the bench with. On the bench for your Laredo Heat will be on screen in just about a second. There we go. In, well, goalkeeper, number 32, Brandon Barnes. Number 26, Jacob Pacheco in the defense, along with another defender, number 16, Edgardo Espinal in the midfield. Number 15, Jose Luis Incapié. Number 8, Daniel Espeleta. Number 7, Rodev Murray. And number 11, Gabriel El Surdito Rodriguez. So the Heat have a powerful bench uh, waiting to see if, if and when Coach Dana Taylor will use them, if and when Dana Taylor Coach Dana Taylor decides to bring them into tonight's matchup. We're moments away from kickoff, ladies and gentlemen, both teams in their last second huddles talking things out. It'll be interesting to see this lineup for the Laredo Heat. Back on the lineup though, good news for everybody. Belgium's finest, Yunus Budadi returns into the Laredo Heat lineup, absent for about three games. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see how he returns back home to the Laredo Heat. Moments away here, ladies and gentlemen. From the kickoff. The whistle is blown. The referee gives the signal. That ball is rolling. And this game is officially underway. Your Laredo Heat control possession here early in this first half of action. We'll see how things will swing along with them. This is Andres Ogas in possession of the sphere for the Laredo Heat Soccer Club. Ball sent to Carlos Herrera. Had been uh, out with an injury. Able to been healed, missed the last couple of occasions for the Laredo Heat as well. This is Carlos putting the ball behind the sky near side. Brought down by De Yurai Tashiro. The fighter sent back to Andres Ogas. Ogas will send the ball forward again. The Heat on this near side. It's Yudai sending a through ball towards the middle. This is the Iron Giant wanting it. He won't get there. Balls on ball. Excuse me, bounces back to El Pirata Arata. Once again, it's El Zorro. Ferris will open the field up again. Far end. This time it's Yunus Budari. Pass won't meet its destination. That ball sails out of play, out of bounds, and into the hands of Katie. 1895 FC. Your Laredo Key, ladies and gentlemen, are wearing red tops, black shorts, and they are attacking from right to left on your monitor at home. Katie wearing white with navy blue, almost like a Tottenham Hotspur deal, attacking from left. All right, this is David Martinez. That ball will be strong again. This time it's Andres Ogas. Ogas will put it up. This is Yurai Tashiro. Tashiro in control possession. We'll send it back toward the middle. This is David Martinez. This is the wizard, Petra Pietola. He'll send a chip shot, trying to find something with Ozoro. No luck there. Now Katie will play it far and wide. Andres Ogas' forehead intercept possession. And it's still Katie with it on the field starting lineup for the visiting Katie 1895 FC number 16 Alan Albornoz number 4 Jordan Bates number 27 Jordi Cobo number 23 Daniel Hernandez number 28 Luca Lazarevich number 32 Rogelio Lopez number 18 Abdullah Mirza number 26 Joshua Moore number 2 Tyler Sividon and number 17 Sydney Toom and Harrison Thief Ball sent back to Carlos Herrera. Herrera wearing blue, all blue today. We've seen Brandon Barnes run a little bit of a combination with the uh, goalkeeping colors. This is El Zorro Ferris putting the ball up top, trying to find something with Belgium's finest. He goes down, the referee gives the advantage. This is Tor Torosten, the Asgardian, actually, from, Nor from Norway. Uh, foul on the play, the referee will retract the action back to the free kick spot. Late tackle on Eunice. He's slow to get up, does so, though. Limps it off, hopefully... The young Belgian international actually represented the Moroccan uh, youth team at some point in his career. Free kick coming up for the Laredo Heat. Yunus Budadi will play it back. This is David Martinez. Martinez trying to go forward here, find something into the pocket, trying to find something with Torturo Rosen. 
Ball turned over, KDFC running the other way. KDFC coming into this game with a lot of momentum, scored 15 goals in the last two matches, as previously mentioned on the stream. Uh, wanting to end the Heat's unbeaten run here, I'm very sure. This is the second to last home game, well, second to last game before the uh, Lone Star Conference season wraps up for your Laredo Heat SC. The last game will be on Tuesday versus the Fort Worth Vaqueros, who also happen to be playing tonight. Ball sent back by Katie. In the back line, ball sent high up top. This is again Belgium's finest. Eunice Ubudadi. Ubudadi sends possession back. This is Christian Roman, the Los Angeles native, will swing it over to the Chile native. This is Andres Ogas. Ogas will swing it up to the front there. Near side, this is the Japanese fighter, Yurai Tashiro, back to the Brazilian pirate, Marcelo Macado. Again, Tashiro will send it back to Andres Ogas. That ball swung all the way to the middle. This is Christian Roman. Roman will put a loud ball in the sky into the forehead of once again of the Katie defenseman. This is Ozoro running, he has the space. Ozoro sending a through ball trying to find Tor Trostin. No luck there, the Iron Giant, Montavez has it, he can open it up. Montavez will take a shot trying to find something low post. No action there, no luck. Couple of deflections, this is Belgium's finest. Back to Ozoro, Ozoro on the dribble trying to get inside of the 18. He gets taken down, no fall on the play. And Katie will swing it back the other way. Ball swung near side. Through ball, trying to find something here is Katie. Cross sent in, first post, rejected there by Ogas. Low shot again, well, low clearance, and the Wizard able to come away with it. The Wizard trying to push it forward, intercepted again by Katie. And Katie will have it going back again. Dangerous play here for Katie. He'll take a shot low post. And it's Carlos Herrera. Herrera will look to throw it. He'll play it low. Finds Christian Roman. Roman will send it back again towards the middle. This is David Martinez, the Fort Worth native, finding now Andres Ogas. Ogas up top finds Yudai. Yudai back to Andres. Andres will swing it back to David Martinez. Martinez swing it over. Christian Roman once more. Good step over. Roman trying to find something going here. Roman in a bit of predicament, having, having a lot of time with possession of it, will swing it back. This is once more Andres Ogas. Playing his collegiate career here at Texas A&M International, part of the Dustin team. Puts it high in the sky, gravity does its part, brings it, brings the ball back down. And Katie will play it back to the keeper. Katie will swing it once more. The Iron Giant will press, that's Rafael Montares. Katie with some action toward the middle. Montares supplying the press here. No foul. The flag stays down, whistle not blown. And again, it's Katie from the back now. The Wizard on the run here. The Wizard trying to find something high. No luck. Katie again with a turnover here. On the near side. Jordi Cobo. Interception there by David Martinez. Dangerous here for the Heat. Katie trying to dribble something up forward. This is Torture Rostin once more. He has Guardian, the through ball now to the Iron Giant. Rafael Montavez might have something here for the Heat. Montavez will away to right side of the 18 yard while still holds it back, leading it back. This is Ozoro, Ozoro far post. That ball sells wide. And a goal kick coming up for Katie. Katie will play it short. Well, it is Sydney too. Door at the middle, and now the Katie offense, deriving from some buildup with their defense. No press here by the Heat. Here comes the press. Tor Trostin lobs through ball towards the direction of Ogas. That ball still is out of play. And it'll be, I believe, a goal kick coming up for Carlos Herrera. 
Happy place is short. Back the other way we go with Christian Roman now. El Pirata Arata from Brazil. Back again to Christian Roman. Roman will feed Marcelo Macado once more. Chelo will swing it. This is Andres Ogas. Ogas back to Yurai Tanshiro. Tanshiro once again will try to swing it forward. Decides to go back. This is Andres once more back to Christian. We'll see a lot of rotation here and a lot of ball movement between the Heat defensive and midfield lines. Team that is patient on the ball, like to find openings and like to create them. Doesn't matter how patient they have to be, the Pirata will send a ball going high or forward. Turnover here possible for the Heat. Might have something. Good clearance there by Katie. They'll swing it toward the forward line again. A deflection there by El Pirata. Through ball toward the middle and dangerous play here for the Heat once more. Here's Katie trying to find something. Great press again there by David Martinez. A good slide tackle there by Christian Roman. The Heat win it back. And from defense to offense, momentum trying to get swung here for the Heat. Ball through ball, excuse me, through all attempts. And no luck there. Deflected again by Katie. Or back to the Wizard. No luck there again for the Heat. Ball swung near side. El Zora will chase, and it's two on behalf of Katie. Ball to the inside. Good wall action there. Christian Roman with a, with a clearance attempted. That ball will be sailed all the way back to Carlos Severa. He'll see it sail beyond the goal line. And that will be resulted in a goal kick for Herrera. Christian Roman back to Eunice Budadi. Belgium Smiles will return it back to Los Angeles native. This is Roman again. Here's that rotation of the ball by the Heat once more. With it is David Martinez near side now to Andres Ogas. Yurai Tashiro, the fighter in control possession, will swing it back to the young Chilean. And Andres Ogas will swing it back again to Christian Roman. Roman will go up top. This is toward Torosin. Back again, David Martinez, we go. Good switch of play here to the fighter, Yurai. Yurai, good penetration play here. We'll go to the inside. The Iron Giant will hold off. Good through ball again here for Ozoro. Ozoro will cut it back far post. That's the shot by the Wizard. And that is the first goal. The Wizard, Petra Pietola, P2, Pedro as they call him here in town, scores his first of the season, finally getting that breakthrough goal of his, and we'll see how the Heat here will continue to build up momentum from the back, great share of the ball by the Heat, unselfish play by El Zorro with a great assist, and Petra Pietola finding the back of the net for the first time this season, uh, here at home at least, and it's P2 with the goal, that puts the Heat up one goal to nothing. Heat go up by one, Katie will have to try to continue their style of play here. They conceded the first, good ball movement there by the Heat, another good cross, well, good fake inside by two. Now Katie, with a little bit of uh, pressure, I guess, on them. They're moving the ball a lot quicker than they were in the opening 11 and a half minutes of play. Through ball again up top, that ball sails back. And we'll have a goal kick here for Carlos Herrera. it long, trying to find something with the Iron Giant. That's Rafael Montavez. No look there. Tashiro getting a deflection on it with his forehead. This is David Martinez now. We'll send the ball again toward the Wizard. Petre Pietola. Toward Trostin goes down. The young as guardian. No foul on the play. Therefore, he gives the advantage. And this is Yurai Tashiro, the fighter. Selling it back. This is David Martinez, native of Fort Worth, Texas. Back again to El Pirata Arata. Native of Sao Paulo. Excuse me, Rio. Native of State of Rio in Brazil. Once again, this is the young Chilean. Andres Ogans back to Yurai. Yurai back to Ogans once more we go. Back to Yurai we go again. And again, once again to Ogans. Ogans will swing in toward the middle now, toward the middle of the field. It's Christian Roman. Roman will feed a Pirata Arata. Roman again with a good step on the ball. Possession will be swung back to Andres Ogans. Ogas back to El Zorro Ferris. Good turn by El Zorro. 
will send it towards the middle, trying to find something with Torch Roast and turn over here by the Heat. Katie, the other way we go. Good defensive presser by Tor. No turnover just yet. Katie's still running with it. Turnover now by Katie. The Heat control once more. This is Kurish and Roman. Back to David Martinez. Martinez will sing it toward the middle. Build on the field, controlled by Tor. Tor back to Christian. Christian one time touch. Here we go to El Pirata. Arata Macau. Once again, call to Andres Sogato with David Martinez. Martinez back to Yuri Tashio. Tashio back to Andres Sogas. Andres will settle it for El Pirata Arata. Christian Roman now, captain, the skipper here today for the Heat. Alan Rivera not on the roster today. He gets some rest after heavy minutes on our trips, or on the Heat's trips, excuse me, to Shreveport, Tyler, and Birmingham. Christian Roman again. Back to Petra Fiatola, the wizard. Katie will run with it toward the middle now. Good field of play here. Let's see how Katie builds this up. Ball moving now for Katie, picking up after the Heat's goal. Good turn over here. The Iron Giant might have a chance here. Here we go. It's the Madrid native. This is Rafael Montavez. The Iron Giant trying to fight something with Ferris. He'll hold it right outside the 18, awaiting patiently. The Iron Giant, a good fake shot, will cross it back again. Opposite foot. He gets taken down. No foul on the play. A lost momentum here for the Heat. Katie. The chance to regroup here as they will come from the build-up back from within their own half of play. Through ball towards the middle, good press there by David Martinez. Foul on the play. Martinez gets called for it. Therefore, he kind of quick forward with him. Says, hey, Mr. Foul, relax. No need. David Martinez pleading his case, saying he got all ball. The ball went out of play. Referee calls the foul regardless. And it's possession for Katie FC. Oh, play it short. This is tune again. Don will put it in the sky. Andres Sogas will reject the opportunity here. El Pirata, Arata will put it high in the sky. Chasing now is the Iron Giant. And it's the Wizard able to come away with it. Here he goes, the Wizard, Petra Piatola from Finland. He having a chance going inside of the 18. The Wizard might have a lefty. He'll try to get a shot off. The Wizard again with a flickle flick toward Tor Tor And Tor will take a shot and that one hits the post. And another great chance here for the Heat. The Wizard on the near side, watch out. Here he goes. Working the magic, this is Petra Piatala. Across the flag, it's sent out of play, but the Wizard already reaching his, into his sleeve, trying to find that ace of spades. The Wizard reaching into his hat, trying to pull out the rabbit. The Wizard trying to make it magical against Katie. Let's see. Corner kick coming up for Tanshiro. He'll take it on behalf Corner of the key. Corner kick brought to you by title sponsor, Falcon Bank. We'll see what the Heat do here. Far, far post. Montav is trying to get to it. Torch Rosen trying to get to it also. Andres Ogas, the recipient of that corner kick. Great. Fake cross again to the inside. Ogas will send it into the box. Looking for Montavis. Deflected again by Katie. This is Christian Roman with it. He'll settle it back. El Zorro. Ferris will take it. Looking for some first post action. Deflected again by Katie FC. And Katie will now will come out playing. Will come out swinging. That ball sent far end. And now the Heat have to retrace. The Heat defend with numbers. Oh, Katie trying to push forward. A couple of step overs. A couple of bicycle rollers. No luck there. Katie will be forced to sell it backwards. And now a through ball toward the front line again. Chasing now is El Pirata. Arata Machado. He'll battle it forward on that far corner kick sector. That ball sells out of play. Goal kick coming up for Carlos Herrera. Carlos Herrera will settle it, trying to find something with the fighter. Turnover possession here, and Katie might have a chance. Katie trying to push it forward. Carlos Herrera will not leave his six. And Katie having it inside of the 18 of the heats here, right on the edge. There's a cross sent far post, trying to find something. Ball bouncing inside of the 18. Ball sent to the post. And a good chance here for Katie. The Heat might have conceded the first of the evening. And the Heat running with a little bit of luck there.
Katie will take a corner kick here. That ball sent far toward the PK spot. There's a clearance by El Pirata Macado. And that ball shot again, deflected by the Heat players. Ball is still on the edge of the 18. No foul on the play. Andres Hogan is late to it. That ball sent crossed again. A couple of foreheads on it again. And it's the Iron Giant getting the last one on it. Ball sent back again toward the far post. And the Laredo Heat here having a little bit of a hard time clearing that ball out. Doing all they can though. And a lucky break there as there is not a goal conceded. Carlos Herrera will retake possession here for the Heat. He'll play it short, finding Christian Roman on that back end. Roman will play it up top. This is Belgium's finest, Eunice Boudadi. Back to the Wizard, back to Eunice, the Belgium's finest. Here we go, trying to push it forward. Looking for a through ball for Torch Rosen. and Trosten on this near side. How's Ozoro Ferris? Through ball again on the near side. Ozoro controls, crossing into the inside. Nope, he'll take a couple of more penetration dribbles. Ball, he'll swing it around to the Wizard. The Wizard, good first touch on the right side of the 18. He'll take a poke to the inside. And no luck there. That was going to be a goal kick here coming up once more. For Katie, 18 95 FC. Okay, we'll play at that ball crossing the half field line. Andres Ogas will get a right foot on it. Again, Katie controls the Pirata Arata Machado will receive. Now it's Belgium's finest, Eunice Budani. He'll sell it back, finding Carlos. Herrera, Herrera will play it high, trying to find something in the middle with Torch Rosen. Rosen, great control here by the, as a guardian. And once again, it's Andres Rogas on the near side dribble, trying to keep it in bound, does so very well. Plays it back again toward Tor. Now David Martinez controls. Ball will be swung back. This is Carlos Herrera in a high press here by Katie. As Carlos Herrera controls and swings it back again to Christian Roman. Roman, again, this is Belgium's finest. Eunice Budandi back again to Christian Roman as the Los Angeles native to send it back to Carlos Herrera. Herrera trying to find Yurai Tashiro on this near side. The young Japanese fighter waiting for it. A couple of deflections there. It's El Pirata Arata Machado controlling once more. He'll send it back toward the middle. This is Christian Roman. Roman back to the wizard. This is Petre Piatola, author of goal number one here of the lone VIP of the game thus far. Christian Roman will swing it back. This is Andres Ogas getting a start here for the Heat. Matias Rodriguez Herrera not dressed to play today. Part of that back line as well. Uh, Andres on starting. Christian Roman back to David Martinez in the middle. Martinez will settle the through ball beautifully played here over to Belgium's finest. This is Eunice Budani still dribbling with it. Eunice will send across toward the middle finding Torch Rosten. And he'll put it high in the sky. Katie bobbles it and now Able to regain control of it was the keeper. He'll roll it on this near side of Tomb now. And Tomb will play it, trying to find something for you. Here comes the press by El Zorro. Torch Rosen will await the middle. This is Sivadon. Back again to the keeper we go. Bates. And now it's a V. Will play it high again. That back line of the heat, Andres Ogas will receive. And Katie control in the middle again. Good job there by Roman. David Martinez trying to get an interception here. Katie will put it high. Through ball on this near side. Ball looks to go long. Good job by Tune to keep it into place. Roulette attempted. No luck there. Great slide tackle by the fighter. That's you die. Tashiro. Not a corner kick, but a throw in coming up here for Katie. They'll play it into the 18, trying to get a fleck of flick on it. No luck. Ogas will get a four-header on it. Back to Tor. Tor will get one as well. Cleared, not far. Not far out, not out of danger just yet. A rocket from left footed, no luck there by Katie. Again, a couple of deflections, and it's the Wizard back in possession with it. A nice slow pass here to toward Toros and back to the fire. This is Judai Tancho, a couple of dribbles. Back to the middle we go. This is David Martinez, a good swung of possession here. Now it's Pirata, Arata Machado controls over to the Wizard now. Petra Piatola will play next season at Central Arkansas. Trying to find a through ball there with Belgium's finest, Eunice Budani, who will be playing his collegiate career next season at Creighton University. Throwing coming up here for your Laredo Heat SC. Ball 
Thalgrim is finest. We'll throw it inside. This is Petra Pietala, the wizard. Back to El Zorro. Zorro with it. Holding possession. Nicely done by El Zorro. He's going inside of the 18. El Zorro will take a shot. Deflected there by the KD defense again. And Vith will roll it onto that far end. The Heat here defending with numbers again. Dalton Sinus will apply the press. Katie will play towards the middle, now towards the back. A good job there by the Laredo Heat to stop the momentum of that counterattack play. Ball swung to the near side here. In full possession, Ogas will await. That shot attempt goes nowhere near post. Selling wide. And a goal kick coming up for Carlos Herrera and the Laredo Heat Soccer Club. Folks, just a quick reminder, for everything Laredo Heat, you can find our stories, our uh, standings within the table, a link to our roster page, and, our li and a link to our shop page. Please visit www.laredoheatsc.com. That's www.laredoheatsc.com. Throwing coming up here again for Katie. They'll play back. And a good fake forward, fake back. Going back the other way we go with Katie. Joshua Moore. Couple of dribbles here. Katie trying to find some momentum to keep fans. Coming alive, intercepted there by Tor. Tor can regain position here for the Heat. The Heat defending with 10. Rafael Montavez, the Iron Giant, holding on that half field line. Awaiting the attack here for the Heat as soon as they get possession of the sphere. Katie doing a good job here of withholding possession for it. Yeah, dangerous fall there by El Zoro Ferris. Toom still with it on the run here is the number 17 for Katie. Toom back to the middle we go. And Katie withholding a lot of possession here. The Heat not liking that. That's a cross trying to find something toward the back post. Double deflections. Ball inside of the 18. A shot attempt here by Katie. A clearance successful there by Martinez. Back to El Zorro on this near side. And it's Ziyad Ferris trying to push it forward. A hard shoulder there. Smile on the play. Heat free kick coming up. will play it short, Andres Ogas back again to El Pirata Arata Machado. Native of the state of Rio in Brazil, will swing it back to the young Chilean. This is Andres Ogas. Yurai Tashiro in control of it now. Tashiro trying to play toward the middle, finds David Martinez. Back to Christian Roman, dangerous play here. Roman will get a dribble line, almost a turn of possession. Andres Ogas will get a clearance over to the middle toward El Pirata Mara. El Pirata Arata Machado, good job by him to withhold possession. He'll go to the, he'll go to the top, excuse me, finding Ziad Ferris. Ferris can regain possession of the sphere. And Katie again, heavily on possession here, trying to find an outlet. That ball, good through ball towards the middle again. Katie will try to get another through ball on your side. A shot, no luck. Christian Roman getting a poke on it. That ball sails out of play. Corner kick coming up for Katie. FC. Another corner kick here for Katie. They are close to getting one on the board. The last corner kick out. We'll see how they adjust to this one. Another open corner there for Katie. And the Heat with a little bit of luck there again. As that one sails over and on. And there'll be a goal kick coming up for Carlos Herrera. This is Christian Roman back again to Belgium's finest, Eunice Boudadi. Eunice will go up top, trying to find something with the Iron Giant. No luck there as Rafael Montavis can get to it. Chase here now by Petra Pietola. Katie just withholding possession here against the Heat. The ball returns back into play. Final hands of Katie. Near side now, this is two. Couple of picks to the inside now. Jordan Bates back towards the middle. 
Kuka, Las Artich. Through ball to him, open man here. To him outside of the 18, will look to get across. That ball sent far post. Crossed again. No clearance there, and the Heat struggling here to regain possession. That ball looking for a curler to the far post. No luck there for Katie. And Carlos Herrera will regain in the form of a goal kick here for the Heat. Finding Christian Roman. Roman back to Belgium's finest. This is Eunice Boudandi. We've seen him a few times previous to the last three games. Good to see him back wearing the black and red. This is Yudai Tashiro. The fighter will get a forehead on it, trying to find something with those Oro Ferris. That ball stays in bound. Good job by Z. Ziad. A lot of time and space trying to go to the, towards the middle. We'll find the wizard on that far end. Has one on the go on the board tonight. Doesn't get taken down. Flax stays down. Another cross to the inside. Montavis can get to it. And V will regroup here as he rolls it out playing. That ball sailed out of play. Throwing coming up here for the Heat. thrown in, Belgium's finest trying to find the wizard. Belgium's finest still with it. This is David Martinez back to El Pirata Arata Machado. He'll post it up, trying to find something with the wizard. No luck there. And again, Katie with heavy possession here. Yudai Tashiro will press the pass. Good through ball here to the inside. The Heat with a gap now. Good job there, Bond. The recovery by David Martinez and the fighter. Foul on the play. Yudai with a tackle. And a free kick coming up here for Katie. play already a shot there and that one sells wide again and Carlos Herrera talking to his feet spot here coach Dana Taylor watching on the sideline Casey here Casey here dominating possession the far in the last couple of minutes in this game Carlos Herrera Place the ball high in the sky. Groundly does its part, brings the ball back down toward the Yacht Ferris. Now it's the Iron Giant with a great left over here, trying to find something with Ziad Ferris. No fun on the play as Ferris trying to find toward Trostin. And the dual attempted here again, controlled by Ogas. Settles back to Christian Roman. Roman on the near side now. This is Pirata Machado. Foul on the play. Free kick coming up for the Heat as the Wizard was taken down. David Martinez controlling again. Tanshiro will place it. Perfect ball now. This is Christian Roman. Roman will put it high in the sky trying to find the Iron Giant. That's Montavez. Gustav is bounding forward. That ball sails out of play. Throwing coming up for Katie. <laughs> Katie can't control. And now the Heat will have the reciprocal. They'll throw it back into play. Belgium's finest. This is Marcelo El Pirata Arata Machado. Over to Christian Roman now. Andres Ogas controlling. Ogas towards the middle again. This is Marcelo. Back again to Tor Trostin in the middle. Tor. Back to Andres. Andres over to the fighter near side. This is Yurai Tashiro. Tashiro will swing it back to Christian Roman. And Roman, no choice but to go forward. He gets taken down. The referee not going to his pocket just yet. Oh, we will have a word. 
Well, the referee does go to his pocket, India, and that's the first of the evening. Handed to number 26, Joshua Moore. So Moore with a yellow card off that tackle there on Christian Roman. Great play there by Roman. KDFC coaching staff can't believe that Moore got a yellow card there. Well, believe it. This is Kurish and Roman holding possession again. Feeding David Martinez on that far end. Martinez, the young native of Fort Worth, Texas, will take it back. This is for the Iron Giant trying to get a flick. flick over to the Wizard. This is Petra Pietola, Pietola trying to get a flick this way. Hard fall. Seems to be okay as he's getting back up. KDFC will settle it back again and a good connection here by Katie. The visitors trying to find something. That ball far end defended there by the Heat. Crossed again to the far post into the gloves of Carlos Herrera. The fighter, Uday Tantino, back to Carlos Herrera. David Martinez. Martinez trying to find something with the Iron Giant. This is Rafael Montavis. He gets dispossessed. Ball sent out of play. Throw in coming up for the Heat once more. Belgium's finest, Eunice Bugatti, will throw it back to Christian Roman. Roman on the near side, back to Andres Orgas. High through ball, trying to find something again with Rafa Montavis. No luck there by the Heat. Another hard foul here, that's against the Wizard. And the referee's flag goes up, the whistle was blown again. This time he will not go to his pocket. So just more on the yellow card here. Belgium's finest, Eunice Budani will settle the ball. Far post, no one home for the heat there. And Katie will recontrol here in the form of a throw in. Pressed a little high here by the Heat. And Toom will come out to throw it in. He lead this one by one goal to nothing off there, that goal, as you can see on your monitor. Petre Pietola, the wizard. He will play it near side now by Katie FC. Through ball near side, Yudai Tashiro on the defense again. Tashiro. Great awareness there by the young Japanese native. And this is Andres Fogas again. Selling it high, trying to find something with Andres, excuse me, with Rafael Montavis. No luck there. Katie still with it. El Zorro Ferris trying to run away with it. No foul on the play either. And now it's Katie. On the run, a good slack tackle there by Yudai Tashiro. The Heat regain control here. This is Tashiro on the dribble now. Fans coming alive here. This is David Martinez. Ball sent back. Christian Roman again. Roman up top to the Wizard. Back again to David Martinez. Martinez cuts inside of the belly button of the field. He's back once more. It's Andres Fogas. One time pass now to Christian Roman. Roman controls. Nice right footed adjustment there by Roman. And Christian will sell it over to the Wizard. Far end again. No press there. Tor Trosten. Back again. This is David Martinez. Martinez going forward. Back to Tor. And the young as Guardian now controlling. It's El Pirata Machado Arata. Sending it out of play, Yurai Tashiro was the intentive, re re excuse me, receiver of it. Ball thrown into play. More controlling again. Feeding that back line once more. Aggressive play here by Katie. Good deflection there, intercepted by David Martinez. Through ball of the wizard on that far end over to Montavez. Montavez will hold it. 
I'm getting a couple of dribbles toward the inside. He'll swing it over the near side. Now this is Yudai Tashiro, the fighter. He'll try to get to it. A through ball on this near side, finding El Zoro Ferris. And this is Ziad, the Palestine native. A couple of step overs. Great dribble there by Ziad. Ziad still with it. Ziad far post into the gloves of the Good job there by the Heat. And Ziad Ferris trying to regain a little bit of momentum here. The possession does belong heavily to KDFC. They've controlled. Uh, on the Heat's defensive half. Good press here by Ziad Ferris. The defensive coverage excellently done by the young Palestine native. And that ball goes out of play. Corner kick coming up again for Katie. Katie looking dangerous on those corner kicks. have had a couple tonight where the Heat struggled to clear it out. Um, out and out of, excuse me, out and out of danger. If I may say so. Let us know where you're watching in from tonight, folks. We always love to hear from our fans around the world. Give us a, uh, let us know, excuse me, where you are watching from. All swung again. This time, Katie played short. They'll send across toward the PK spot a little further. A couple of deflections on the inside. David Martinez will get a clearance. And Katie controlling again. Ball inside, flag goes up. Danger is omitted. Nold. Mute, I might add. So a free kick coming up here. It looks like the Heat will go to the bench for the first time tonight. The wizard Petra Pietola coming off, making his in-game debut here for the Laredo Heat, number 15 from Cali, Colombia. Jose Luis Incapié. I wonder why the wizard was taken off Looks to be uh, in a little bit of pain there on that far end. I hope everything's all right with the Wizards. That's the first substitution of the game made very early here by Coach Dana Taylor. So Incapia making his in-game debut here. Now he will play it. This is Belgium's finest, Yunus Pudani, selling it back to El Pirata Arata Machado. That's David Martinez, excuse me, over to Udai Tanshiro. The young fighter will have it, a through ball far end. This is Belgium's finest inside of the 18. Belgium's final send across over to Montaves. And into the gloves of Vith by the Iron Giant himself. A good attack here by the Heat. Unselfish play once more. And the Heat almost with the second of the evening on the board. Good job by Vith though to recover on the post. Meek will roll it now. This KDFC will look to come out building. Two on the dribble will have it near side. Trying to find something with Mirza. Tuma again will take a shot deflected there by a slice tackle by Pirata Arata crossed inside into the gloves again of Carlos Herrera. He'll roll it far over to the far end with the Asgardian. That is Tor Torosin, not really from Asgard or the Nine Realms. Happens to be from Norway. This is Yudai Tashiro again. Now to David Martinez in the midfield playing his collegiate career at AM International here in Laredo. Through ball over to Belgium's finest, Yunus Budadi. He was able to get to it. Coaching staff wanted, that, wanted the fly to go up. Stating it was a Katie throw and referee says, nope, we're going to go the other way. Ball maintains possession of the Heat. Ball maintains possession of the Heat, excuse me. And Jose Luis Incapia will control. Good touch there by Belgium's finest. Incapia gets taken down. Flag on the play. Foul on the call. And a free kick here for the Heat again. Great, great territory, if I may say so. To get the Heat rolling here. Jose Luis Incapié. Back again to David Martinez. Martinez will settle the near side. Yurai Tanshiro, the young Japanese fighter. Tanshiro, back again. Andres Ogas. Ogas, good ball here. And Jose Luis Incapié again. Incapié will take his luck from there. Jose Luis Incapié. No luck there. Incapié again will take a left footed Sean looking for the far post. That ball sails out of play. Tanshiro wanting it. Jose Luis Incapié taking it. And a goal kick coming up here for Vith again. V 
Reese will put it high in the sky. Gravity does its part, brings the ball back down to the forehead of Christian Roman. Roman will get another flick of flick on it. Possession here for Katie again, and they'll look to play it out. Turnover possession, foul on the play, foul is the call. David Martinez on it again. Free kick coming up for Katie. We're about over a minute and 15 seconds here before we close up regulation in the first half. We'll see how much, if any, the referee will add. Remember, the Heat made an early substitution. The Petra Pietola, the Wizard, coming off. Jose Luis Incapia coming on early. Tum. There we zoom on this near side. This is Tum with it again. Couple of steps over in. This is Yurai Tashiro battling for possession. Good job by Andres Ogas to regain it and get a poke on it. Trying to find something with Zion Ferris. Well, Zora not able to get to it. Throwing coming up again here for Katie. Katie awaiting something to happen. Good hold of possession again. Shot attempt at that ball sails high. Corner kick coming up for Katie again. Comes a corner kick. That ball curled all the way high. Far post action. Handball. The flag goes up. Definitely a handball here. Free kick coming up for the Heat. We've reached 45, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure how much longer we'll play into, but 45 on the board already. Ball sent out of play by Herrera. Throwing coming up for Katie. Heat looking very frustrated here. Katie holding a lot of possession. Heat not content with it. Two and a couple of dribbles. That's it. Whistle is blown. We've played up to the 46th minute of action. 1 0. Your Laredo Heat lead this one into halftime. On the break we go. Heat 1 0 over Katie FC. We'll be back in about 15 minutes to begin. Uh, the commencement part of the conclusive half of action here, live from Laredo, Texas, at the Texas A&M International University Soccer Complex, home of your Laredo Heat. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere.
I'm James Clarkson, the Houston Dynamo, down here in Laredo. Uh, really excited about the opportunity to work with the Laredo Heat. Uh, we feel that they're, they're great people, they're a great organisation, and we want to help them grow this programme. It's, uh, it's a great initiative to really impact uh, the youth community of Laredo and uh, give these kids in, in the area a real opportunity to progress in soccer and through education and hopefully go to college and things like that. And it's exciting from the Dynamo's perspective. Hopefully we can create a, a deep player pool here and we can provide these kids opportunities to come to Houston to have a go at trying to get into the MLS. Uh, but we're here, we, we want to help uh, the Heat organisation, we want to help them with coaching education, we want to have an impact with the coaches and, and, and with their overall player development. Uh, we've, we've been doing this for quite a while, we've got a lot of experience and uh, we're going to spend a lot of time down here, myself and my staff. Uh, we'll be down here quite often and hopefully we can have a real positive impact in the growth of the sport in the radar. The reason we're doing it is because of the kids. So the kids are hungry. They're hungry to play and they're hungry to play competitively. And I'm really excited to hopefully one day get a professional, some more professional players out of Laredo. Like I said, it's going to be a, a free, you're not going to have to pay for anything. We've already got games lined up with uh, Houston Dynamo uh, Academy teams. Uh, as well as other academy teams in North Texas. I've been doing this now for 12 years. The talent here in Laredo is, is very good. We just need to push the kids. And I think this, this program will be pushing the kids, uh, one, to make them better uh, soccer players, but also, more importantly, also making them better uh, men. It's a key program for all the kids that want to play soccer, but at the same time want to develop their skills and their personal skills to teach them to be better people, to go out and get scholarships, to go to college. So all in all, we are, the whole office is very excited and the Vaswani family is extremely excited to get this program started. It's going to be a hard choice to choose the best 18 or 22, but uh, we're going to do that soon. I think the program is great. It's, it's a unique program. Nobody has done it here in Laredo. It's free for parents and for kids. They should come, they should try it out, and hopefully we'll get three good teams out of this. And will succeed out of town. Since they're under 16 and they're going on into high school, some of them are in high school, so they're going to be a lot of character building. So this is going to be a very positive for not only the children, but also for their parents. Listen, for your kid, the kids that did not come out today, reach out to us. Um, if you do want to play this competitive program, we want them one day to realize the opportunity we gave them and they can do the same for their younger generation when they're a bit older. Bring your kids out, give us a call, and uh, thanks for everything.
I'm James Clarkson with Houston Dynamo down here in Laredo. I'm really excited about the opportunity to work with the Laredo Heat. Uh, we feel they're, they're great people, they're a great organisation and we want to help them grow this program. It's, uh, it's a great initiative to really impact uh, the youth community of Laredo and uh, give these kids in, in the area a real opportunity to progress in soccer and through education and hopefully go to college and things like that. And it's exciting from the Dynamo's perspective. Hopefully we can create a, a, a deep player pool here and we can provide these kids opportunities to come to Houston to have a go at trying to get into the MLS. Uh, but we're here, we, we want to help uh, the Heat organisation, we want to help them with coaching education, we want to have an impact with the coaches and, and, and with their overall player development. Uh, we've, we've been doing this for quite a while, we've got a lot of experience and... Uh, Welcome back to the Texas A&M International University Soccer Complex, ladies and gentlemen, home of your Laredo Heat Soccer Club. They lead it tonight thus far at halftime against the visiting Katy 1885 FC. One goal to nothing, author of the goal, the wizard Petre Piatola. Going off uh, in the second half here, excuse me, early in the first half, sub Don coming on was Jose Luis Incapié. We're moments away from the kickoff here that will begin this conclusive half of action. It looks like the Heat will go back to the field with the same players that were on it when the half had ended. No tactical adjustment besides that Jose Luis Incapié adjustment made by coach Dana Taylor and his coaching staff made up of coach Vicente Ruiz, coach Keith Ramirez. Last couple of stretches here for both teams. A recap of the first half, just that lone goal on the board tonight by Petra Pietola. Good buildup of play here by the attacking trio of the Heat. Rafael Montavez able to hold on possession very well, fed a through ball to Ziad Ferris who crossed it to the far post once inside of the 18, finding the right foot of Petra Pietola, allowing Pietola, to, uh, excuse me, allowing Pietola to score the first of the evening of the night, as a matter of fact, for both teams. So we're moments away here from this second half of action. Uh, KDFC adjusted very well to that early goal here by the Heat. They maintained a lot of possession in that uh, first half of play. So just a heads up here for the Heat, having to readjust, having to find that nick and knack on their adjustments to see if they can now withhold some possession against KDFC, who, like we previously mentioned, held quite a bit of it um, in that first half of action. I'd like to remind you folks that this is a second to last uh, outing in the Lone Star Conference regular season for your Laredo Heat. The last game will be played on Tuesday versus the Fort Worth Vaqueros. That'll be a good game as well. So uh, if you're within the area, if you're nearby, if you're not nearby and you want to swing on down, please do so. Uh, I can you know, recommend the environment only so much. It's something you'd have to come experience for yourself. It's great, it's family friendly, uh, $5 general admission. Uh, kids under 12 wearing red get in for free. There's $2 beers, the best snacks in town. Tito's uh, Snack Shop also here at the Tamu Home Games. They have it all, ladies and gentlemen. You will not be disappointed if you swing on by to a home game. Then uh, the Heat will play the Rayados de Monterrey Sub-20 squad. That's their uh, youth 20 team. They will come into town on the 5th as well. So just heads up, folks. Uh, some games coming into town Tuesday and uh, I believe Friday of next week. So please... Make sure you come on by, swing on down, catch some quality soccer, catch some high action, and please stay tuned on all our social media platforms. More on that in a little bit. Looks like the referee, the team in green is ready to go. The hand is pointed, the ball is rolling, the whistle is blown in this half. To conclude this game has officially begun. Vith not wanting any trouble with it. He sends the ball backwards. And the forward here by David Martinez over to Jose Luis Incapia. Fake shot going to the inside now. Recollected there by Katie, a couple of deflections. Great press there by Rafael Montavez. Now it's Andres Ogas able to read the high play. And Ogas will sell it back. Now this is Yudai Tashiro.
Christian Roman. Back to Belgium's finest. This is Yunus Boudadi. Back to Christian Roman. Roman will swing it back. This is Andres Ogas. Ogas over to Christian Roman once more. Roman up top trying to find something with the native of Asgard. This is Tor Trosten. Back again to El Pirata Arata. Marcelo back to Tor. Tor to Christian Roman. And Roman will swing it again to the far end. This is Andres Ogas. Ogas back to David Martinez. Martinez back to Ogas. Ogas one more time backwards here. Christian Roman. Roman over to Jose Luis Incapié. Back to Christian Roman. Roman over to Andres Ogas. Ogas now Marcelo Arata. El Pirata. Again to Christian Roman. Roman over to Tor Trosten. Trosten back to Christian Roman. On the near side now. Belgium's finest. This is Yunus Butadi. Daddy on the dribble here. Ball up high. This is El Zorro Ferris controlling. He's trying to get inside the 18. El Zorro, good hold here. El Zorro still on the dribble. Back to Montamis. Intercepted there by KDFC. They want no nonsense. They want to clear this one. Cleared high, but not out. As Katie will regain possession here on this near side. In possession of it is Daniel Hernandez. Great recovery here by Belgium's finest. This is Yunus Budadi. Budadi will see this one still out of play. Throwing coming up here for your Laredo Heat Soccer Club. Don't forget, folks, you can keep up with us on all of our social media platforms. You can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, watch us on YouTube, see us on Instagram, and even add us on Snapchat. All you have to do is search at Laredo Heat SC on all the respective search engines and click the little button that allows you to interact with us. That's at Laredo Heat SC. Throwing coming up here now for Katie as we return back to action. David Martinez able to regroup nicely here. This is Rafael Montavez trying to get a flick forward to Jose Luis Incapié. No luck there. Incapié playing his collegiate career here at LCC, Laredo Community College. Part of the Palomino team. Foul on the play. And a free kick here from good territory for KDFC. We'll see how Carlos Herrera adjusts his wall. Well, we'll see. We'll take it for Katie. Katie here, not uh, not shy of goal scoring in their past couple of games. Has scored 15 in their last two games. On the wall for the Heat, Rafael Montavis, Jose Luis Incapié, Andres Ogas, and El Pirata. On the left side there, that's Belgium's finest, Yunus Abudadi. Heat putting all their men in defense here. KDFC trying to find the equalizer, trying to find the one that'll knock things back up. Be Daniel Hernandez to take this one with a right-footed curler. Walls adjusted. Referee having a last look there. The whistle is blown. Hernandez will get a curler into the gloves of the very well positioned Carlos Herrera. Also playing his collegiate career here at a and International, played formerly at Iowa Western Community College, uh, also a graduate of that program, Alan Rivera. We've seen a lot, a couple other players throughout the years here from Iowa Western, like Heike Fernandez, William Lukowski. All turned over by the heat here. Also from that Iowa uh, Western club there, well not club, excuse me, community college, Rafael Ferreira, Faslo Alihovic. So, community, Iowa Western, excuse me, uh, sending some players this way. A ball cleared up by Carlos Ferreira, Rafael Montavez on the chase, this is the gentle, this is the iron giant, excuse me, flag on the play, not so gentle there. A tongue twister on my behalf. Free kick coming up again for Katie of C. The Heat will re go to the bench once more. Coming out of the game, number 28, the Rio native from Brazil. This is Marcelo El Pirata Arata Machado. And making his way into the game from Costa Rica, Daniel Espeleta.
play resumes here. Espereta, first touch of the game. That's a four-headed there. Brings a lot of energy on and off the field as well. Adjustment here made by Coach Dana Taylor. It's Daniel Espeleta in the game now. Heat on the defense again on that far end. That far end's been busy for the Heat. Cross again to the first post. A couple of deflections again. Carlos Herrera able to get to it. A late challenge there, a late shot attempt. Carlos Herrera stays down, a kick on the play. And now the referee making sure he gets in the middle of the way. Yunus Budadi, the rest of the Heat players, not liking that challenge. Carlos Herrera still down. And the referee will have no choice here but to make a decision. He's going to have to go into his booking. Tempers raising, flares rising. The temperature in Laredo usually very hot. Game time here, even hotter. Carlos Herrera still down. First to the ball, late, late shot attempt appeared. A slide tackle. And now the referee asking for the training staff to come in. Cristal Marie will make her way onto the field along with Ernst Weisner, who do an excellent job of taking care of all of the Laredo Heat players uh, throughout the season, during the preseason. They're gonna attend to Carlos Herrera. Herrera slow to get up. It looks like he got the wind taken out of him. And Herrera just having a, well, Ernst Feiner making sure Herrera's okay. Finally Herrera able to get back up. Looks to be a little hurt, a little winded. On the bench for the Luero Hito, Brandon Barnes. So just in case there does have to be an adjustment made, the Heat will, the Heat do have a goalkeeper on the bench to be, to make that adjustment. So if it does require a change, It'll be made, I believe, for Coach Dana Taylor. Uh, Brandon Barnes up from the bench, though, looks to be warming up. Coach Dana Taylor will give Carlos Herrera a couple of minutes to see if he can continue, and if not, I believe there will be that tactical adjustment to be made. Carlos Herrera pushing his lines up, pushing his lines forward. The Heat wanting to keep on the attack. The Heat wanting to keep momentum in their favor here. Rafael Montavez can't get to it. That ball will be sailed all the way from coast to coast. A nice little... A uh, long route there for the for the sphere, and Veith will control again on behalf of Katie. Katie finding nobody but Daniel Espeleta. There's a through ball again toward the direction of Uday Tancho. Tancho first to get there will clear it out. Wants no nonsense as well. Over the direction here of Ozoro Ferris. Now it's to Luisin Cape holding possession here. Inca will hold it. Inca on the dribble, a couple of step overs. Nicely done there by the Cali Colombia native. Over to the Palestine native. This is Ziado Zoro Ferris on the dribble again. Zoro will find the middle. Trying to find again some connection here. Ball will be swung around to Tor Trosten on this near side. Tor trying to get the hammer inside. This is Yunus Budadi across to the PK spot. A shot again attempted. And that ball goes high. And that ball. Oh, well, the Heat players wanting a corner kick. I thought they'd be awarded. The referee says no, no deflection. That's going to be a goal kick there. But the Heat with another good chance there to get on the board. Reef will play it near side again over to Daniel Hernandez. Hernandez settling it back. Ball deflected here, it'll be a Katy possession. Hernandez to throw it back into play. He's trying to go to the middle. Daniel Espeleta will chase Espeleta, trying to get a flick on it. A great defensive coverage there by Daniel Espeleta, not beating, not getting beat on that feint. And the Heat looking to regain possession here. This is the Cali Colombia native, Cosa Luis on KDFC 1895 players. And that ball played on the near side again. This is Albernoz. Albernoz will try to go up. Open man here, Andres Ogas, very well right there. And he'll send it back toward the middle of the field. This is the Palestine native, El Zorro Ferris. Back to Andres Ogas, over to the fighter, Yunai Tashiro. Tashiro toward the middle again, back with David Martinez. Martinez, on the penetration here, this is David. David will light it up, trying to find something far post. And no luck. Be a goal kick here for Veet and Katie. Hey. 
In Capier trying to switch that ball up. Trying to look for El Zorro Ferris. Well, folks, we're having a little bit of uh, connectivity issues here with our internet. We apologize for any tech, uh, excuse me, for any technical difficulties. We'll be quick on the attempt to fix, though. Possession here still for Katie. So adjustments here for the Laredo Heat making his way into the game number 16 from Honduras. Edgar Espinal and making his way out for Espinal is number 24 Andres Ogas. Espinal. Making his way into the game. Coming off is number 24, Andres Ogas, and the other substitution made by Coach Dana Taylor. Making his way into the game, and number 11. From uh, Colombia. El Zurdito Rodriguez. Gabriel. This is Ziad Ferris. A throw by here for Tor. Tor trust and on the inside of the 18. Tor will take a shot. Tor. A deflection again. And it's Gabriel Rodriguez making an immediate impact. Goal. 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 Goal.
Tanshiro with a corner kick inside again and to it was Daniel Espeleta, no luck there. And fighting for it again, this is, uh, this is Edgardo Espinal. No foul on the play, Espinal able to get to it, notched a goal there against uh, Brownsville last time out when the Raider Kid went to Brownsville. This is, uh, this is Peleta from long range and Espaleta almost finding the back of the net. The Heat looking for that third. The Heat looking to score another one. Katie will swing it inside again, throwing the ball into play to Gabriel Rodriguez. Nice flick there. This is Jose Luis Incapié. Incapié now to Tord Perrosen. Back to Jose Luis. Over to Daniel Espeleta again. Now it's David Martinez. Martinez will sell it. This is Eunice Budadi now. Belgium's finest. Budadi will send a beautiful crossfield pink ball over to Ozoro Ferris. Ball still in play, Katie trying to clear it out. Katie trying to get out of their danger zone and now the Heat are chasing Katie on the run now. The Heat defend with numbers though, it's a five on two, six on two now, great slight tackle there by Ozoro. Ball goes out of bounds, but Ozoro catching up on the defensive play and Zion Fair showing his pace. Throwing coming up again, this is for Katie. Luka Lazarevich. Lazarevic again, he'll send the ball back to the far post over to the foot of Edgar Espinal. And now Gabriel Rodriguez trying to get a flick on it as well. This is Daniel Espeleta, good job by the Costa Rican to find the Colombian native. Over again, swung again back to the Palestine native. And this is El Zorro Ferris. Ferris will dribble it backwards, finding Christian Roman. Roman back to Belgium's finest on this near side is Eunice Budadi. Back again we go to Christian Roman. Roman back again, Edgar Espinal. Christian Roman, David Martinez, Christian Roman, Carlos Herrera, Belgium's finest, Christian Roman, Roman will put it high in the sky near side toward the Tor Trost and Tor can't get to it and Gabriel Rodriguez regroups beautifully a sombrero there, no luck there by Rodriguez and now Katie Looking to push it forward, near side again. Rogelio Lopez, he gets taken down toward Trostin, called for the foul. And Katie will get a couple of connections here within their back line, trying to find something coming out of their own half. Uh, they look to build up a couple of passes and build up a nice play here. Jordan Bates. He'll send the ball far end. This is Edgardo Espinal who sells it back to Carlos Herrera and beautifully played there by the Laredo Heat. Great job there on the run by Kevin Martinez. Back to Espinal. Back again to David. David will send a pink trying to find something forward. No luck there by the Heat. Ball put high in the sky, Carlos Herrera not risking it, not grabbing it. Play resumes, no foul again. And now a foul on the play, that's gonna be against El Zorro Ferris. And the Heat will make another adjustment momentarily. Free kick coming up here for Katie. Luka Lazarevich will step off the field for Nicholas Cobham. Coburn, excuse me, on behalf of Katie. And on behalf of the Laredo Heat making his way out of the game, number 14, the Palestine native, Zion El Zorro Ferris. He steps off, making his way into the game. Number seven. Jamaican. This is Rode Murray.
Free kick here for the Heat. Rodney Murray, number seven, making his in-game debut here for the Heat. Ziad Ferris making way, the Heat play short. That's Gabriel Rodriguez over to David Daniel Espeleta, excuse me, a couple of nice bicycle overs. This is again back over again to Espeleta. Connection there with Jose Luis Incapié. Incapié on the run here. Ball inside of the 18. This is Rodney Murray. Murray with a cross to the inside. And Katie with a clearance. Heat with a throw and they lead it by two. A little over 20 minutes of play here, about 23 left. This is Daniel Espeleta, he'll sell it back. This is Christian Romana. Roman, Belgium's finest. Yunus Boudadi. Back again we go. This is David Martinez. Christian Roman. Edgar Espinal. Rode Murray. Daniel Espeleta. Espeleta will sell it backwards beautifully. That's a ball over to Espinal. Trying to find Rodriguez. Espinal will have it. Espinal scored a screamer against Brownsville. This is Gabriel Rodriguez. Rodriguez will send a low cross. Ball still inside of the 18 of Katie. There's a clearance attempted here. And now the Heat forced to defend. This is a great defensive coverage there by Christian Roman. Roman will go up top. Finding Daniel Espeleta. Espeleta, great through ball. This is Rodney Murray. Murray! Scores the third for the Heat. The Heat rolling on all engines. The Laredo Heat feeling the temperature. Three to nothing on the board. Katie sinking fast. Katie going back in time from 1895. Now to 1892. Three, zero on the board. The Heat in control of this game. Now the referee giving a yellow card to Rode Murray. Play for excessive celebration. Nobody content with that card. Nobody. Rode Murray looking upset at that card. I'd be too. Referee trying to keep this game in control. Saw it as a sign of uh, excessive celebration. Monitor shows Edgar Spinal. The goal was by Ro Dave Murray. This is Belgium's finest Eunice Budati on the coverage. Now it's Christian Roman. Roman again up top. This is Daniel Espeleta. Espeleta will swing it towards Trosten. Trosten trying to get a dribble inside. Good job by the Asgardian. Now to David Martinez. Again here, Gabriel Rodriguez on the press. Feath, no choice but to clear it out. Great coverage again there by Tor Trosten. And that ball belongs to Katie again in the form of a throw-in. Ball on this near side, Tashido, a great read there. Katie will play it back. Good through ball again attempted there, Christian Roman. To it surely, that ball deflected off of Roman. Roman not agreeing with the call. Corner kick coming up for Katie. Taken care of there by Carlos Herrera. 
And Herrera will punt it onto this near side, trying to find the fighter. This is Yurai Tashiro, can't get to it though. And Rode Murray on the yellow card. Great deflection there, back to Tashiro. The other way we go now, Tashiro over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez, great pass here too. Again, the young Jamaican, this is Rode Murray. Murray will send across to the inside. Barpo's ball inside of the 18, this is Tor! Goal, 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 There's a low chance of precipitation, a low chance of rain, no chance of thunderstorms in the area, but Tor Charleston once again bringing the hammer down and along with it, the thunderstorm. Tor gets the fourth of the night for the Heat and they lead it now. Four taquitos on the plate to the nothing of Katie. The Heat with four enchiladas. The fourth trip to the buffet. The Heat, four goals to nothing against Katie. Let's see. indications here there's going to be a goalkeeping substitution to be made on behalf of Katie Kavif will step out and along with this change of water break and along with this change a reminder to stay up on all our social media platforms stay up to date with us folks we are on every social media platform you can follow us on Twitter you can like us on Facebook you can watch us uh, on YouTube, see us on uh, Instagram, and even add us on Snapchat. All you have to do is search at Laredo Heat SC on the respective search engine and click the little button that allows you to interact with us. Click the little button that befriends you uh, to us to show everybody you are indeed our friend. That's the best way to stay up to date with us. So let us know how we're doing. How can we improve your overall experience of this production for you at home? How can we make your viewing experience more pleasurable? Um, any and all feedback is, of course, uh, welcome, don't forget for everything Laredo Heat SC, please visit www.laredoheatsc.com. That's where you can find direct links to our stories, the standings within the Lone Star Conference of the National Premier Soccer League, the Heat's first year back in action uh, in the NPSL, uh, debut season for the NPSL, I may add. Um, you can also find a link to our uh, merchandise page where you can get yourself a bunch of good goodies, a bunch of good stuff. Uh, for you and your loved ones, you can get anything from a polo with the Laredo Heat logo and crest on it, uh, to a sweater, to a jacket, um, you can get uh, a couple of soccer balls, you can get backpacks, you can get uh, sports bags, you can get uh, a bunch of stuff, scarves, I know the scarf game is popular, uh, with the World Cup fever uh, surely in place folks, LaredoHeatSC.com is your best place for some Laredo Heat merchandise and goodies, that's at www.laredoheatfc.com Turn back to Ashley here with Tashido. Tashido over Taniel Espeleta. Great turn there by the young Costa Rican. Play next, will play next next season, excuse me, at Creighton University. This is Edgardo Espinal. Had one awesome goal of Ami Seiso against the Bronzeville Coyotes. Uh, when the Loretta Heat went to Bronzeville this past Wednesday. Helped the team, with, uh, helped the team to a 3 0 victory over the Coyotes. Ball again to the inside. This is Belgium's finest. Yunus Boudadi back to Daniel Espeleta. Over to David Martinez. Martinez will find Jose Luis Inca Pie. Inca on the dribble. A couple of step overs. Inca will find Espeleta. Espeleta back to Inca. Inca trying to get to it. A clearance attempted there by Katie. And the keeper for Katie. Fresh legs, fresh, fresh set of gloves actually. Um, for the goalkeeper there for Katie. Subbed on a couple of minutes ago. A day player is down on this near side. There's injury. The key will play it. Uh, nobody aware of the situation on this near side. There's an injury here on this side of the field. Referee not aware of it. The assistant on this near side. Flag stays down. The heat crowd wanting the change. Well, the, the stoppage of play. The heat will throw it out of bounds. The injury will uh, be tended to. Great sportsmanship there by the fighter, Yurai Tashiro, to tend to the injured player. It looks like there's a pull of a hamstring here. 
And Tashilo just standing again on the injury here to Hill Hernandez on behalf of Katie FC. Play will resume momentarily, folks. So he will not make another adjustment off of their bench. <laughs> folks, don't forget if you're within the area for Tuesday night's game, please make sure to swing on down. Great environment. It's very family, uh, family friendly oriented. Uh, great crowd out here. Five dollar general admission. Kids under 12 with a red shirt get in for free. Um, a chance to take a picture with Fuego, a part to be, a chance to, you know, be part of this environment that is fantastic here within the city of Laredo. So if you're in the city or within the area on Tuesday, I more than welcome you to come out and support your Laredo Heat as they look to close out the season against the Fort Worth Vaqueros. That's Daniel Espeleta back to Christian Roman. Roman now back to Carlos Herrera. Herrera. I'm trying to place it high, places it direct toward the middle though. And a turn here now for Katie. They'll look to gather some momentum. Good through ball to that far end. Delgado Espinal no, not able to get there. A corner, a cross, excuse me. A couple of shots inside. Ball still bobbling inside of the 18. And it's Belgium's finest. Eunice Budani to get the last flick on it. On the chase, though, it's El Surdito Rodriguez. And El Surdito not able to get to it. Gabriel Rodriguez still on the press on this near side. Rodriguez battling for it. Very well done. Also played uh, his last collegiate season here at LCC, Laredo Community College, part of that Palomino squad playing with the heat. Katie, facing it high again. Great coverage there by Edgardo Espinal, trying to send it back again to Carlos Herrera. And the heat will uh, defend another corner kick here. Corner kick here that he defend. That's a header by Katie. Ball on this near side. Gardo Espinal wanting no trouble with it, trying to clear it out. Ball sent back again to the 18. A four-headed attempt there, and Carlos Serrera measuring the distance between the four-headed attempt and the destination of the ball perfectly, awaiting the position of the sphere to get to that low first post. He'll roll it back out the other way. This is Christian Roman. Roman trying to find something with St. Catherine's native in Jamaica. Rode Murray, author of goal number three, I believe. For the Heat, number two, I believe. Number three, number three for the Heat, excuse me. And now Katie will look to play it up again. David Moreno turning it over there for Katie. Katie will regroup there. Ball sent back to that back line once more. Katie on the attack, great slide tackled again there by the fighter. That's Yurai Tashiro, helping the Heat regain control. Possession of the sphere again, David Martinez, who's been solid in that midfield position here for the Heat. This is Edgardo Espinal, back to Belgium's finest, Yunus Budadi. So Budadi shifts toward the middle. He plays center back now. Edgar Espinal will come to the right side of the field, playing right back. Tashiro moved to that left back position. Christian Roman staying put. The Heat will go to the bench once more, though. This is David Martinez on the run. Martinez back to Gabriel El Surdito Rodriguez, author of goal number two for the Heat. Belgium's finest, Eunice Budani, back to David Martinez. Martinez up top again, Gabriel Rodriguez, El Surdito will play it back to Belgium's finest. And Belgium's finest with a class, with a touch of class on the sprint now. 
beating the back once more. This is the fighter, Yudai Tashiro, the native of Tokyo, Japan, feeding Rode Murray. Murray back again over to Tor. Tor, Be excuse me, that's Belgium's finest. It's Budani. On possession now is Rode Murray, wanting a handball, not getting it. Good press there again by Jose Luis Incapié. Ball will be sent back once more to Travis Aday. And Katie will recontrol on the edge of their 18. Ball on this near side, that's Belgium's finest, Eunice Budani, David Martinez. David Martinez on the sprint again. The young Fort Worth, Texas native, a big shout out to Estil, his uncle who I haven't seen in a while, but definitely needs to come down before the end of the season again. Rodney Murray gets taken down, no foul. Cross attempted again, intercepted by Spelletta. Spelletta gets dribbled. That's a play here again for Katie. They'll take a shot deflected there by Christian Roman. Chance for a cross. There it is. Ball up top, into the forehead of Edgardo Espinal. Good clearance again. Far, not out. Interception again, this was a Luis Incapia. Good little sombrero Incapia still on the dribble, trying to get the motorcycle going. That's a feed over to the fighter, Yurai Tashiro. Tashiro will go back. This is Rode Murray. Great turn, Murray on the dribble, very quick on his feet. Again, David Martinez. Donde está el tío? Back again we go, Edgardo Espinal. Espinal back again, Eunice Buda, the Belgium's finest. Christian Roman now. Yurai Tashiro, Christian Roman. Belgium's finest, Eunice Budadi. Daniel Espeleta on the turn here. Espeleta, back again, Edgardo Espinal. Espinal threw out to Espeleta. Espeleta will hold it on, trying to find something with Ariel Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to get a flick on it. This is El Surdito. No luck there, Tro Torosten intercepted again. Torosten back to Jose Luis Incapié. Incapié will take a shot, Incapié! And a great diving save there by Travis Ade. Incapié trying to find his first for the heat of the season. Substitution now coming up for the Heat. Making his way out of the game. Number 18 from Fort Worth, Texas, David Martinez. Making his in-game debut here, number 26. That's Jacob Pacheco. Another shot and a great golazo there by the Heat. That's Gabriel Rodriguez's second of the evening. Goal! Rodriguez adds another one, celebrates there with his brother. And Pachiki Rodriguez. And Rodriguez netting the second here of his for the night, has an assist on the night, two goals on the board, and Rodriguez definitely a candidate for Rod's MVP of the game, coming on the sub, making an immediate impact, getting the second on the board. And a great goal there again by El Surdito Rodriguez. That's two on the night. Well, there's a substitution, folks. Pacheco comes on. Uh, Martinez will step off. So now in the back line for the Heat is Espinal, Roman, Yunus Budadi, and Jacob Pacheco in this right back position, forcing the fighter, Yurai Tanchiro, to go to the midfield. On this near side, Jacob Pacheco. Back again, Gabriel Rodriguez, author of two goals here tonight, sends a high through ball trying to find Rode Murray. Both players played with each other this past collegiate career at LCC. With the Panamines. Interception there by Christian Roman. Tashiro waiting the bounce. Tashiro waiting the possession here. And it's Langston, uh, St. Catherine's native. To regain it here for the Heat. This is again Yunus Budadi. Back again to the fighter. Tashiro back again to Belgium's finest. Over to Daniel Espeleta. El Tico, El Costa Ricense. Daniel! Great dribbler. 
finding again. Jose Luis Incapié. Daniel Espeleta will try to find the through ball over to Tor Trollson. Trollson trying to get there. KFC keeper very well aware of the situation. 86 minutes, folks. Four more minutes of regulation in this game. The Heat with five on the board. And that plate, folks. That plate of enchiladas getting heavy here for KDFC. This is, well, against KDFC. This is Jacob Pacheco. Pacheco starting it back. This is Belgium's finest. Eunice Budadia trying to ping it beautifully and does so nicely. Great ball, uh, bring down of the ball by Tor Trost in there. And now it's Edgardo Espinal. Daniel Espeleta controls. Espeleta up again to Jose Luis Incapié. Inca on the dribble again. Inca off the return here by Rodriguez. Inca still trying to find it. That ball sails wide, far, and out. Goke coming up again for Katie. Ball put high. Gravity does its part, brings the ball back down. Katie controls. Ball towards the middle. Great slide tackle there by Espeleta, then by Tashiro. Foul on the play. And a free kick coming up for Katie. Through ball again on that far end. And Carlos Herrera patiently controls it. And will await the press here. And finally picks it up. Awaiting the press there of David Moreno. Herrera will play it, rolling it back to Christian Roman. Roman up top at Jose Luis Incapié. Inca. Good dribble again. Inca on the dribble. Inca will hold it, feeding back again. This is Daniel Espeleta. Espeleta will try to send another ball near side, trying to find something with Diego Jacob Pacheco. Pacheco trying to battle for it. Ball still in possession here of no one. 50-50, Yunus Budadi comes away with it. Yunus Budadi pushing it forward. This is Belgium's finest. Belgium trying to find something going here. The finest member of the Belgium. Here you go. Yunus Budadi will get a curler. Belgium's finest hitting that 90th degree angle where the two posts kiss. That ball almost in. Yunus Budadi almost scoring what would have been. Uh, almost a golazo, let me say so myself. A couple of dribbles here for Katie. Katie in possession. Back to Christian Roman. Roman goes down, no foul on the play. Referee says, you know what, give the advantage. We want possession belongs to you as Jose Luis Incapia selling it back to Tor Charleston. He has Guardian. Back again, Christian Roman. Edgardo Espinal. We've reached 89 minutes of action here. Just ruled. This is Rode Murray on the attack again. Rode Murray on the dribble. Rode Murray! Goladedo! Rode Murray, number two on the board, the native of St. Catharines in Jamaica scoring his second of the evening. The Heat lead it by six. And the Laredo Heat rolling here. Rolling. Goal by Rode Murray. And that's the second of the evening. He lead it six goals to nothing. 90th minute will play until 93rd. Uh, at least 93rd. According to the board on the end here. Great job there by the Heat to turn it around. Tor Trostin trying to get a flick on it. This is again Daniel Espeleta. Three members of the Heat weight up top. Gabriel Rodriguez. El Surdito receives back to the fighter. This is Yurai Tashiro. Tashiro near side. This is Jacob Pacheco. Pacheco back to Daniel Espeleta. Espeleta over to El Surdito Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to find something with Rode Mary. No luck there. And Katie will swing it back the other way. Trying to push numbers forward. They trail by six. Six and nothing on the board. The Heat with a heavy plate of enchiladas on the table. The sixth trip to the buffet. And a foul on the play here. Dangerous play here, a little extracurricular activities, no extra credit there. Tashiro goes down. Referee having a word with Yudai and Moreno. And a free kick coming up here for Katie.
Referee telling uh, Katie that they got to push the ball a little further back. But the ball's got to sa sail from a couple of yards further. The referee not wanting any extra pushing and shoving inside the box. No mosh pits going on here, please. The referee trying to keep this game in order in the last closing minutes here. Ball high in the sky. Christian Norman gets a flick on it again. This is Edgar Espinal. The Heat with numbers again. Pushing our four. Gabriel Rodriguez found this far right side. Tor Trosen in the middle. And then Gabriel Espinal turning it over. Rodney Murray trying to await it. Katie again controlling. We're playing. We're closing out on the 92nd minute of play. Ball trying to get crossed inside again. Deflected again there by Christian Roman. This is... Jose Luis Incapié, Incapié, back to Christian Roman. Roman still in possession of it. That ball sold out of play, foul on the play. A dirty slide tackle. Well, Christian Roman goes down. And Katie frustrated here. Katie rolling into this game with a lot of momentum, scoring 15 in the previous two, conceding six here today. Good job by the Heat to adjust uh, after that first half, which was heavily possessed uh, by, well, Excuse me. Good job by the Heat here to adjust after that first half where Katie heavily possessed the ball. A good adjustment here by the Heat to turn things around. Completely uh, regather what I say, yes, possession of it. Uh, not necessarily regather it, but just not allowing Katie FC to withhold it so long within the Heat's defensive half. This is Rodney Murray. Murray back again we go. This is Yudai Tashiro. Tashiro back to Daniel Espeleta. Over to the fighter. Yudai, Yudai once again. Jacob Pacheco back to Yudai Tashiro. Tashiro, Daniel, Daniel Espeleta. The referee calls it inside the middle. The final whistle is blown. And your Laredo Heat defeats Katie. 18-95 FC by a margin of six goals. Six to nothing on the board. The Heat win it at home. And the Heat with this victory clinched the first seed of the turn of the excuse me of the standings within the Lone Star Conference the Heat Lone Star Conference champions good job by the Laredo Heat SC uh, to uh, again come out into the second half and score five against Katie FC folks it's time for Rod's player of the game a lot of players could be uh, nominated for this one, folks, but it's definitely going to be uh, Ron's pick here will be Gabriel Rodriguez. Coming on as a substitute, making an immediate impact, uh, helping the Heat score two goals in the second half. Well, three goals, really. He scored two. The Heat uh, scored one. Uh, off a pass by Rodriguez, so he had an assist on the night. A great job collectively by the entire Laredo Heat roster. A great job entirely by the Laredo Heat team, by the Laredo Heat organization. Uh, they win the Lone Star Conference nine games in. They will host uh, Fort Worth. The Vaqueros will come to town on Tuesday again. I can only welcome you so much. I can only try to get you uh, to come on down to the Tamu Soccer Complex to experience this awesome, awesome atmosphere here in Laredo, Texas. Uh, game time will be at 8.15. That's scheduled kickoff time, 8.15 p.m. on Tuesday here at the Tamu Soccer Complex. General admission is $5. Kids wearing red under 12 get in for free. There's $2 beers. Tito Snack Shop, best snacks in town, folks. Again, we uh, hope to see you on Tuesday. We'll be uh, streaming the game as well. For all of you who joined us throughout the night on the stream, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate you tremendously. We appreciate you uh, staying uh, on stream with us throughout the, throughout the technical difficulties of the night. But the story here is on Laredo Heat. Six goals on the night against the visiting Katie, 18 and 95 FC. The Heat doing an awesome job here at home. A good display for the home fans against Katie FC. Six goals on the night, player of the game, Gabriel Rodriguez. Don't forget folks, stay up to us, stay up to date with us on our social media platforms. All you have to do is search at Laredo Heat SC on our respective search engine, uh, not ours, excuse me, on the respective search engine and click the little button that allows you to interact with us. You can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, see us on YouTube, watch us on Instagram, and even add us on Snapchat. All you have to do is search at LaredoHeatSC.com on the respective search engine and click the little button that allows you to interact with us. That's the best way to stay up to date with us, folks. Uh, you can also follow me personally on Twitter at RodrigoMarina12. That's at R-O-D-R-I-G-O-M-A-R-I-N-A-1-2. 
Um, but definitely, definitely, we hope to see you on Tuesday night for that game against the Fort Worth Vaqueros. They're seated number two on uh, the Lone Star Conference table. It'll be a great game uh, before the postseason uh, for both teams. So definitely, if you're in the area, if you're in town, if you're not in the area and you want to drive on down or fly on down, your preference. We'll be out here on Tuesday night. My name is Rodrigo Marina, and on behalf of everybody here from the Laredo Heat organization, we appreciate you joining us. We appreciate you being a part of tonight's game. Thank you for joining us. Have a beautiful rest of your night. Bye-bye.